Yo, what is up YouTube, Grey here, and today we have got our team builder for week one of the PCL, the Pokemon Champions League. We're going up against, no pun intended, and his Philadelphia Asia Slash. So, first up, no draft analysis video. What happened there? So, I had it all recorded, granted it was a really shit video because I was tired as all hell, and I recorded it, I was mumbling, I was all over the place, but I was going to upload it anyway because, fuck it, why not? Uh, and it decided it didn't want to like render at all. I've had some rendering issues, but Yeah, it just didn't want to render. Hopefully this video does because I will be pissed if it doesn't and Yeah, because of that we don't have our team analysis and so I will quickly recap our team It does change like I will quickly spoil things my team does change from week three I believe like we were allowed four transactions and I made all four in one go I blew my entire load, so to speak, and uh, yeah, I, this is the team that I'm currently working with for week one and week two. We've got Clefable, Staraptor, Incineroar, Decidueye, Miltank, Piloswine, Nugganadal, Starmie, Magneton, and Mega Sizzle. Our Zemons being Staraptor and Magneton, and yeah, first up, this is the Philadelphia Age of Slash team. It'll be appearing somewhere on the screen, potentially, I don't know, but if not, here is the team, Landorus T, Nihiligo, Greninja, Curum, regular Curum, that is, uh, Rotom Mo, Licky Licky, Age Slash, Seismito, Ditto, Infinape, and Meg Meda M M M M yes, <laughs> Mega Medicam. I will fuck up that fucking mon's name so many times, but is what it is, I cannot say that to save my life. So, first things first. His team is terrifying, especially for me. So, as I said in a draft analysis that didn't actually go up, my team is really fighting weak, and he is here with like two of the best fighting types in league format in Infinape and Mega Medicam. I'm gonna pause, I think, every time that I say that just to make sure I'm saying it right, but enough of that shit. He also has Greninja, Landorus T, and Aegis Slash, huge threats, uh, Curum just tears teams apart if you don't prep for it, same with Nihiligo. Then he has just disgusting bulk in Licky Licky Seismitoad. The Ditto obviously is a bit of a problem if he brings it scarfed because my Nugganadal really doesn't kind of appreciate that. And yeah, so first things first, like I need to somehow find a way of dealing with his fighting types. If he brings Infinite and Mega Medicamp like I'm expecting him to, then I'm going to be in a really tough spot and because of that like my team prep was kind of like a little bit skewed towards a defensive sort of team and I put a lot more bulk into things than I would normally do but yeah here's what I came up with this is a very quick prep uh, first up we've got Starmie and I did actually nickname them in the battle don't worry about that I forgot to do it on the team builder um, but yeah, they are nicknamed in the battle, so we all good. Uh, first up we've got Starmie, and Starmie does a lot of damage to his team. It was the first thing that I put in, because it's just so good. It's outspeeding everything but the Nihiligo, and, no, sorry, everything but the Greninja, that is, and I don't think he'll bring Greninja. It's very good against my team, but at the same time he has lots of things that are good against my team, and I'm pretty sure he's going to run Toad over Gren. So, yeah, I'm not massively worried about Greninja, but if it turns up, then obviously I'm going to be scared about Greninja. Uh, Scold, Grass Knot, Ice Beam was all the offensive pressure I need, because the Scold hits the Landorus, it hits Nihiligo. Uh, Aegis Slash would be really nice to get the burn. Uh, same with like Ditto, because Ditto is just annoying, and it means that then if it transforms into a physical Mon that I bring, then I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Inflape will get just obliterated, and Mega Medicam will not appreciate the Scald, also will not appreciate a burn. Grass Knot hits a Seismitoad that, if it is water absorbed, will obviously be switching into my Scalds all day, every day. And Ice Beam is there to hit the Rotom Mo mostly. Obviously it's going to do a lot more damage to the Lando T than the Scald would. But yeah, Ice Beam is kind of just there for the Rotom Mo, I kind of needed that. Um, I could have run Signal Beam and hit the Greninja as well, but eh. Hindsight's 2020. Like... <laughs> It probably would have been better, but I didn't think about that when I was team building. I chucked Toxic on this just because, 
like I had a fourth move. I could have run recover, which like may have been very nice should I live something. But at the same time, like Starmie isn't exactly the bulkiest, so I'd say putting Toxic on that could be nice to catch maybe the uh, eight, not the Age Stash, the one thing that has immune to it. Uh, Seismitoad or the Licky Licky. Obviously, it's going to be nice for right Mo, it means that Kyurem can't sub off on me particularly well. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just there to splash Toxics around. My investment might look a bit weird. Um, my speed is to outspeed what I believe will um, he will put his Nihiligo and Infinite to. So I think he's going to run a speed creep on my base 100 mon, so I've gone for a speed creep of his speed creep. Um, because I feel like the extra bulk might come in handy this, uh, this battle. Sometimes I don't bother with that because it's not worth the risk, but I feel like the extra bulk might be helpful and might just be worth it. And also I'm looking to hit things on switches, I'm looking to bring Starmie in on things that's going to force a switch, so the uh, analytic boost is uh, in full effect. And yeah, that's kind of Starmie. Starmie's just here to burst through things. And next up we have Naganadal, and I don't think Naganadal really needs any kind of uh, justification for coming each week, but this set is a little bit odd. Uh, I didn't want to run Draco because it's kind of negating the uh, beast boost and it means that he can't um that Nuganadol can't stay in after killing something which when i'm running beast boost to boost my special attack it's kind of counterproductive i i felt um so the damage uh to like stay in ability i guess i'm struggling to think of the word at the moment but i felt like the uh damage was not really needed and the dragon pulse was just going to be a better option for me to be able to keep spamming the same move over and over. Uh, the Choice Scarf, again, I wasn't sure the Gren would turn up. If the Gren turns up, then hopefully it's not Scarfed and I can outspeed. If it's Scarfed, then fuck me. Like, I'm not living a hit from that. I'm not living an Ice Beam, I don't think. But uh, yeah, Sludge Wave is just a nice thing to hit other mons. I did have Air Slash on this, but it turns out Sludge Wave does like 3% less to the things that uh, Air Slash was hitting, so really didn't seem worth putting Air Slash over Sludge Wave in this battle. The potential for a flinch or a crit, I guess, would be nice, but the chance to poison is also nice. I don't know, each thing had its, like, its own kind of positives and negatives. I ended up just going with Sludge Wave. Uh, I got HP Ground for the Nihiligo and pretty much the Nihiligo only. Uh, it checks Naganadal fairly well. Um, albeit Dragon Pulse does like 30% to a offensive Nihiligo. If he runs like an Assault Vest set, then I was just not touching it. So Hidden Power Ground does a decent chunk to an Assault Vest uh, Nihiligo. And lastly we got U-Turn because Scarfed and will outspeed everything if he doesn't bring Greninja. So U-Turn would be completely free. Uh, other than that, it's not going to die. It's here to do damage and take lives. Fairly like, self-explanatory. Next up we have Clefable and Clefable is... <laughs> I don't know how to explain this Clefable set other than I'm it's my I'm gonna stay in on Aegislash set. So it's running over Beery Berry, it will outspeed if he doesn't run any speed investment. If he does that's a bit of an issue but I am running mixed bulk and the bulk is specific but I can't remember what it's specific for. Other than I believe it doesn't get too hit KO'd by a high jump kick from Mega Medicam. However, Poison Jab is an issue. Straight up, Poison Jab is an issue. But uh, we get into that in the battle. Uh, for now, Clefable is here. But Beri Berry is obviously to take an Iron Head from the Aegislash. The Aegislash is scary as fuck, so I don't really want that thing to be doing too much. Uh, Moonblast hits most things on his team. Uh, for what it doesn't hit, Fire Blast is right there. Uh, Soft Boiled, obviously for recovery, and Stealth Rock because it's the best Stealth Rocker in the game, in my opinion. And yeah, other than that, it's a fairly so uh, fairly standard Clefable set. Uh, Magic Guard over Unaware, which is kind of risky because he does have some decent setup mons, but I feel like he's not going to run the setup this week because Clefable is there. Um, so Magic Guard to not take residual damage, I feel is kind of the optimal set this time and yeah that, that's kind of all I had to say about Clefable. It's a good check to a lot of things on his team. Obviously Kyurem 
doesn't really do too much damage with a flash cannon. I believe I live too, like quite comfortably, and I can just soft boil it up on that thing. Or I can Moonblast and do a massive chunk. Nihiligo is an issue. Like, if he brings in Nihiligo on this, then I can't touch it. But at the same time, my check to Nihiligo being Mega Sizzle is right here. So, I'm running fairly bulky, fairly uh, specially bulky. I believe this is to live a Choice Scarf Nihiligo HP Fire, and it can Oko with Bullet Punch with the attack investment. So, yeah. Bullet Punch U turn, knock off Roost. Uh, fairly standard set for a bulky sizzle and yeah there's not a lot to say this is just here for things like Nihiligo it does a decent check te checking job to Curum it does a very good checking job to Greninja as long as it's not running hidden power fire and uh, other than that it's not too worried about a lot of things it will potentially force switches and you turn out or knock off an item either way like I feel his best check to this is like Infinite, but I guess Toad is not too bad. Uh, Licky Licky doesn't want to take a superpower, so I very much doubt that he'll bring Licky Licky for Sizzle. Uh, other than that, like it checks Rotom Mo quite well if it doesn't run Hidden Power Fire. Basically, if it doesn't run Hidden Power Fire, then Sizzle is a great check to it. Um, next up, we have Star Raptor. It's running Brave Bird Roost Defog Protect. And it is pretty much fully physically defensive. Uh, I was able to run a little bit of an attack because I believe the roll on high jump kick for a jolly mega medicam, it doesn't make any difference if it's 252 or 244. Uh, Brave Bird is all I need to hit the things that it needs to hit. Again, Nihiligo is an issue for this, but I've got other things that can check Nihiligo, I hope. Um, so Star Raptor is not staying in. Uh, it also can't touch Aegislash very well, which may mean the set is kind of garbage. It can't really hit Landorus all that well. But what it does do is it checks Infinite and it checks Meta Mega Medicam somewhat decently. Uh, it's a good check to Infinite. It's a average check to Medicam, just because High Jump Kick does so much damage. But what I'm hoping is that I can protect on one of those High Jump Kicks and he take 50% because he has no way of healing that up if he doesn't bring Licky Licky, he has no other clerics. So 50% to his best mon is fantastic. I do believe it puts it in range of a bullet punch potentially, depending on what bulk he, uh, what bulk he runs on it. It may put it in range of a bullet punch from his Mega Sizzle. So that'd be great. Um, Roost defog kind of goes about like any explanation. I needed a defogger. And yes, I have Decidueye, but this Decidueye is not to run defog. So, yeah, Roost, Brave Bird is probably what I'm going to be spamming a lot of the time. Uh, it can do some decent damage to a lot of his team. It does relatively good damage to cure him. It will probably Oko Greninja because that thing is a glass cannon. Uh, obviously, Seismato doesn't appreciate it unless it's physically defensive. So Star Raptor is kind of here. It's, it's nice. It's probably just going to take a high jump kick eventually and almost fall to it instantly. But it's, it's here, it's going to do its thing, and hopefully it actually like checks what it's meant to check relatively well. Uh, so next up we have Decidueye, and I'm not going to lie, I was struggling to find a sick mon, because Mill Tank I couldn't bring, Magneton I couldn't bring, uh, I couldn't bring Incineroar, so I was kind of here like, well shit, what do I bring? Do I go for... Sidui, do I go for uh, Hariyama? Uh, I, oh, yeah, I could bring Pillar Swain as well because you know the whole double fighting thing, and also both of their priority outspeed is my priority. So, yeah, in the end, I went to Sidui, and looking at it, it was like, well, it doesn't really do much in this match. It can be here as a Nihiligo check, which is great because I don't really have much of a Nihiligo check, so I run it fully spadef, and I was like, okay. It can actually hit Nihiligo very well outside of Shadow Ball that does like 20%. So what do? And I went back and forth and I was like, you know what? If I can run like a sub nasty plots pass set, get that into Naganadal, I might just win this game. Like I might just straight up win with a plus two Naganadal because knock out one thing that's plus three and there was nothing on his team that lived at plus three Dragon Balls. Like, literally nothing on his team. He does not have a fairy type. So, the dragon spam was kind of free. 
Uh, especially if Age of Slash went down. Like, Age of Slash would have to go down. I think that was the only condition. And then hope that he doesn't win a speed tie should he bring Ditto. But that is kind of Decidueye's job. It's just here to uh, set up a nasty plot and try and pass it into Nagana Doll. Uh, it does kind of double over as a check to a couple of the special ones. But at the same time, it's not checking Greninja, it's not checking Curum. It is checking Rotom Mo quite nicely. Uh, it's not checking Age of Slash. Uh, so it doesn't do anything for Infinite and Mega Medicam. Uh, Seismic Toad, it might threaten out, which is nice, though I don't actually have the coverage for it. And yeah, the Decidueye then gets walled entirely by Licky Licky. However, it's kind of setup fodder, so I don't necessarily mind that too much. And yeah, that's the team. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. I definitely don't have the matchup, in my opinion, because double fighting wrecks my entire team, especially the fighting types he has. Like, okay, Sizzle's a decent check, but Infinite. Okay, well, Clefable's a decent check. Well, Mega Medicam gets Bullet Punch. Uh, Infinite gets Gunk Shot. Uh, Starmie doesn't appreciate a physical hit, regardless. Plus, Infinite gets Grass Knot. I believe it gets Thunder Punch. I could be wrong on that. Medicam has plenty of coverage for it and again I'm fairly sure just destroys me with a high jump kick so it's gonna be interesting I will be happy if I make it close like I know that's a really pessimistic mood to go into a battle with but certainly I was looking to make this as close as I possibly could and if I come away with like a 2-0 or 3-0 I think I was quite happy because that Medicam will just run a train through my team. But anyway, I will leave it at that. The battle, I believe, will be up tomorrow. And we will see how badly we get destroyed by this man's team. I have no idea how he battles as well. I don't know his style. I don't know his ability, anything like that. So we've got to just play our own way. And hopefully we pick up a somewhat decent result. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. If you guys are still here, thanks so much for your uh, yeah. hmm. Yes, English is a tough language. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the battle. Peace.